Hello, beautiful human beings. I want to take a few moments to talk about what came in my head this morning while I was showering. I get all these things in my head while I'm showering that I need to talk about and at the time it sounds so urgent and I can't keep getting out of the shower and speaking to you naked. Although some of you might like that. Anyway, humanity. I think some of us forget that when we go places and we have people in another profession doing their job, that that person might be your doctor or your nurse, your technician, your teacher, your daycare provider for your children, your health, anyone in the health industry, mental health, you're going to your counselor, your sales rep. I don't care who it is that you are having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with or in a group or wherever your situation is. That person is a human being. And that person, when they walked into work, left their personal issues, issues outside of the workforce, or you hope they did. You don't know what people are going on in, inside of their head. Did someone in their family just pass away and they're back to work their first day and they're trying to put their, you know, best effort in being there, doing their job? Did someone recently get diagnosed with cancer or is their pet ill? Or I don't I don't know what the situation is. Are they having trouble with their children at home? Are they having trouble with a family member and or a friend that's heavy on their minds? We as professionals have a job. Me as a hairdresser, I am doing your hair. However, I do get to talk about my personal life if I want to. But there are times that there are things heavy and I don't bring it up. I sit there and I listen to you and I try to help you. And I'm not saying that as a reflection of when you come in and you know we talk. I'm using me as an example as a professional. I went to a new doctor recently and I don't know his personality and I don't know his characteristics but when he walked through the door I felt like I wanted to hug him and that I felt a heaviness on his shoulders well that doctor has given his life to help humanity and I'm sure he's not appreciated in his industry sometimes there are people out there that expect Yes, you want the best doctor. Absolutely. But remember, your doctor is human. Your nurse is human. That technician that is doing your MRI or your x-rays, they're putting their own personal life on hold doing their job. And you, walking through the door... Have some patience and compassion and some empathy and smile and don't be rude and don't be expecting or if you had to wait a little bit longer. Our society, people are demanding. People don't have that patience, that waitress. She may be having a bad day. She may be in so much pain from carrying those trays. This is her career. She makes her money. She puts the smile on to help you. Little do you know her mother or father is ill. Something serious is going on at home. Maybe she's worried about that test that she's waiting for, a call from the doctor. We don't know what's going on in people's lives at all. They only show us or tell us what they want us to know. There are people that carry so much of a burden for other people they are the ones that people go to. You have your friends or your family that are strong that you run to and you need help or you're constantly complaining to, but they're not complaining to you. They're not telling you their woes or what tragic situations they have around them that they're not burdening you. So don't assume everyone is okay. People compart 
compartmentalize, compartmentalize. I'm having trouble with that word. Their personalities to adjust to individual peoples. You go to work, that's your personality. When you're home, there's your other personality. And then when you're around your mother, you try to be a different person or your father because it's not that you're not being you as a whole. You tend to be a different person where you need to be. So, I, I, humanity, we're all humans. We all are muddling through the best way we can. You might have someone in your life that is beaten down, beaten down by life, but they still smile and they still have compassion and they're not taking out on it out on you as a rude person or an angry person. They have compassion for you. So, I'm really having trouble getting my words into a right... This is my third time saying this. But I feel it's important. It's important for us as human beings to appreciate each other. And have patience and kindness and understanding. And put yourself in their shoes. What profession do they have? And they're putting you first because you just walked through the door and you are there for service. Even the cash register, the cashier. I went to um, a store and a young boy was being trained and I sensed he was nervous and he couldn't find the codes for the, all the produce. I buy a lot of produce and he was getting frustrated looking at the sheet because he had to look up what the numbers were because not all produce is labeled. And the um, bagger who was his manager or trainee I was helping him, trainer, trainee, whatever, and he, I wanted him to know he was doing a great job. I told him that. So instead of like thinking, I'm in a hurry, I need to get out of here, ugh, have some patience and some compassion. I've always told my son since day one, kindergarten, and every year if he was talking about some kid that was acting out. You do not know what their home life is like. You are a lucky kid. Your mom and dad, we might not be together, but we make you first. We communicate. You're loved. Other children do not have that in their life and they are acting out at school. So always have compassion and understanding and patience and kindness for your classmates. This goes as adults out in the real world, in your workforce, in anything that you walk through the door. While you're driving, someone might be going slow. I used to tell my ex who likes to get on people's butts, uh, possibly a little road rage. You don't know what that person in front of us is going through. What if they're driving to grandma's house with a hot pot of soup on the floor of their vehicle? And you're on their butt and they're trying not to spill this soup and have it slide around so they can go see their grandma you don't know what's going on in that person's life so I am always that person put in a twist of what could be so have some compassion and patience and slow down we do not need to rush through life having entitlement demanding Respect people. If you want respect in return, you need to have respect. Shine. Shine bright. We all need love. There's different categories of love. Anyway, I know you're doing the best that you can. Because if you're listening to these videos, you're looking for some words of wisdom. I can't say my words of wisdom are going to help everyone. Uh, oh, and the people that like to put in negative comments under um, these videos. Comments of comments, you're helping me out. I'm sorry that I can't reach you on a personal level, that you have to actually be rude. Tim's been deleting the comments. 
and I asked him not to because he was worried that it would hurt my feelings. If you're going to be a jerk on a channel that is about love and light and patience and harmony and peace and all of that airy fairy stuff maybe you guys don't get into, but walking with your head high and proud and with love, judging other people, I'm sorry, that's not a positive thing. But if you're going to make a negative comment, so be it. You're helping out the YouTube channel. Alright, I need to get into work. Love. Love yourself. It all starts with you. If you are miserable, it sheds out to other people. So start loving yourself and have patience with yourself. And if there's things in your life you want to change, start with one thing at a time. Nobody can change it for you. Only you can change it. Have a great day. And I love you. And tell yourself your love. Go do something kind for someone.